Hello guys, thank you for joining me here today. I want to tell you something today, and you are with Tad O'Cham. And today I'm going to be talking about the appearance of Jesus, what Jesus would have looked like. We don't know how long his hair was, um, or anything like that, but we can find out some of the aspects of Jesus and make in judgment what he would have looked like, sort of, um, if you really want to, um, which I find interesting too, uh, on the appearance of the, the the Lord. So I want to turn to Revelation verses one twelve. We don't need to actually um worry about anything before that, although the Lord is there for that, but that doesn't show his yeah. So if you're there already and if you're not pause the video right now I should have warned you. <laughs> trigger warning, trigger warning. No, I'm kidding. Um alright. Um, so turn to Revelation verse one twelve, and I turn and see the voice of uh, who that who that spoke to me. And being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one likened one like unto the son of man, clothed in a garment down to his foot, and the girt about the backs with a golden girdle. His head and his hair were as white as well. I've actually never studied this properly. Like, I've, I've studied it, but I never realized what they're talking about. So he was albino. He was albino. Um, and his hair was as white as well. As white as snow. And his eyes were as flames of fire. And this says that even, um, I can't remember exactly which, uh, where in the Bible, but it talks about his eyes being, um, red, um, wine. Or, and this says, it's, um, his eyes were as flames of fire. I do believe that his eyes might have been, um, more of an orangey red at that day to just show something, but I do believe that Jesus' eyes were naturally red, not orangey. I do think, um, they, I, I'm not too sure, or the, the, the fact that he was changed, his, the fact that he was like, albino might have played into that, and the fact that he might have thought that it was brighter because of the albino skin instead of the olive uh, skin that he would have had. And his feet were likened unto brass, so they would have been the same color. Um, they would probably have been olive, um, not albino, because his face was albino. Um, he would have probably saw them exactly the same as they were on earth, but seeing that they were brass. I, I don't believe this was allegorical as well. I believe that this was completely true. And if they burnt in the furnace, as if they burned in the furnace. Then his voice said in the sound of many waters, and his hand at the right hand of seven stars, and out of his mouth went a two-edged sword. So, before you're saying, I don't want to get near him because he will try and lick me. That is not true. <laughs> no, I don't, <laughs> I don't believe, firstly, he won't try and lick you. And secondly, um, when it talks about a two-edged sword, every time it's talking about stuff, stuff coming from the mouth, that's not an allegorical, um, necessarily, um, but I think it's more simile or metaphoric, and, um, uh, it's allegorical, parts of this is allegorical, which is two-edged sword, because I don't believe that literally a two-edged two sword came out of his mouth. No, I don't believe that. I believe it was his words came out as as though they were so sharp as so that um no one could ever fault him. Not like I'm speaking right now, because at the moment how I'm speaking, you could fault me in some ways. And the countenance was because I'm just trying to understand. And the countenance was as the sun shining in strength. So he was unbearable to look at. I can I can only imagine he would have been so unbearable not look not to look at, not because he looked um, ugly or anything like that, but because it, because it, um, he would have strained your eyes to look at him. In fact, it would have probably blinded you to look at him, which is probably how um, 
how um, that's interesting. I never thought about that. It's probably how Paul became blind in the desert because he looked at Jesus. I think if you look at Jesus, you become blind. At least in this case, which um, I, 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 I don't know, yeah. And I don't think he did look at Jesus. No, he would have had to. I, uh, I, I don't even know. I don't know how he didn't become blind. Maybe Jesus just didn't, uh, healed him straight after or something. I don't know. <laughs> See, this is stuff we have to go over, guys. If, if you have um, any knowledge on wh why um, he could look at him um, being his, with Jesus being his brother's son, why John could look at Jesus, uh, please do share, because uh, I do want to know. And when I saw him, I fell to my feet as dead. And I, and he laid his right hand on me and said, Fear not, I am the first and the last, I am the living and the, and the dead. And behold, I am alive forevermore. Behold, I am alive. I uh, already said that. Oh, dang it. I repeat myself a lot. I mean, <laughs> and it, have the keys to death and hell. Write the things which thou hast seen, and the things which are, and the things which shall be hereafter. The mystery of the seven stars, and the sayest of my right hand, and the seven gold lamps, and the seven stars, and the angels of the seven churches, and the seven candlesticks, and thou sawest the seven churches, sawest uh, the seven churches, churches. Right. So. What I believe Jesus is saying here, what I believe Jesus is saying here, is um, that he was a, a bino. What John, sorry, is saying here is he is a bino with white hair, and possibly a bino. I'm not too sure. He, he may just again, he may just come off a cloak, and it may not be that he was legitimately a bino, but he could be a bino. Um, the feet is in burnt brass. I'm not too sure. I, I mean, I wouldn't want. Be all, firstly, I wouldn't want to be albino. Um, that would just look weird. And I'm not saying God's weird. I'm, well, I am kind of saying God's weird, actually, to be quite honest. But if God wasn't weird, wouldn't you be kind of worried? If, if God wasn't um, a little bit strange, wouldn't you be worried? If you didn't have a different mindset than us, would you not be worried? Because I would be. If, if God had a different mindset than me, I would be extremely worried about our earth. I'd be extremely worried about him. I'd be extremely worried because the way I feel about stuff, when I look back in 10 years, I will laugh at myself. I'm a Christian. I've been Christian for almost four years. I'm in, in um, September, Christian, four years. I laugh now at some of the ridiculous stuff I believed when I was only young baby Christian. Young, young baby laden Christian man thing. Man child, you know, I, I, I laugh at that stuff. Like, I believe, um, I, I believed that aliens still existed for a very long time. I, I was very adamant that aliens existed. Now, I don't. I believe the fallen angels. Um, I was very adamant that people became ghosts, or if, if you were denied from heaven, you became a ghost after death. Not anymore. I believe hell and heaven. And that's it. And I believe in filament, yeah, spirits. It's amazing what this book does. This book makes your beliefs change, and they're always evolving. It's not like it's not like you're always going to have the same belief system at all. In fact, I probably have a completely different belief system to somebody else. Now, I'm not saying that I have I'm um, against Jesus because I love Jesus and He is the Son of God. And everything like that. Our, our fundamental beliefs stick the same, but different aspects of our beliefs change. So we don't actually have the uh, same belief system. We have different um, belief systems. But um, that is absolutely fine because everybody has a different belief system. That's how your mind works. And um, I believe God has talked to me on some stuff, some stuff he hasn't. And there's some people who have. He has talked to and told me stuff about it. And I've been like, oh, really, Lord? I feel the conviction, but is it really true? And he'll sit there and he'll convict me even more and harder and harder and harder. And stuff, until I start saying I believe it, stuff will just onto my computer screen. So, like, I don't believe in the flat earth. But there's more and more evidence out there. There's more and more evidence out there. I'm getting, I'm getting to the point where I believe in it, but not quite. 
the aunt still needy in some more convincing. So, um, if you do have a convincing ar- argument for the flat earth, please do uh, make, make a rebuttal to this and link it down in the description below, and I will try and get to watch it um, if all my followers aren't um, spamming me. No, I'm kidding. I have, like, maybe five subscribers. I think it's six now. Um, so, and that's fine. <laughs> that's fine. I, I really don't care about the subscribers. Um, I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it in another video. Anyway, I'll see you next time. But until then, stay safe, guys. And as always, I'm in.